Hey there, and welcome to Ryan's editing tools tutorial. In this tutorial, we will review how to edit elements on your drawing using tools like copy, align, offset, trim, and many more. Let's get started. Let's edit geometries on our canvas. Ryan's editing tools can be activated from the bottom toolbar or by using keyboard shortcuts. Note that for using any of the editing tools, you can either start by selecting the element you would like to edit and then trigger its editing command or you can trigger the editing command and then select the elements to edit, then done or enter. In this tutorial, I'll start by selecting the elements. Let's begin with the copy command. After selecting an element, trigger the copy command. Choose the specific point from which you want to copy the element, then select an insertion point on the canvas. You can also specify the exact distance and angle for copying your element by entering a value. Then click on the canvas to set the element and then click on done. Now let's use the move command. Start by selecting the element to be moved, then trigger the move command. Select the specific point you wish to move your element from and the insertion point for the move element. You can also specify the exact distance and angle you'd like to move your element to by entering a value. Next, the offset command. Select the element you want to offset, then activate the offset command. Choose the specific offset distance you'd like to apply to the element, either by manually selecting a point or entering a precise value. Then set the offset direction by clicking on the canvas. Time for trimming. Select elements that intersect and you'd like to trim and trigger the trim command. Then select the paths to be deleted. They will be marked in red once you hover over them. Now let's scale something. Select the element you want to scale, then trigger the scale command. You'll notice that you can switch between scaling your selected geometry and scaling everything on your model. Choose the first point to scale from, then either select a second point or enter a scale ratio in the active command bar. The join command is up next. To join our geometry paths into one shape, select the paths to be joined, then trigger the join command. And that's it, your paths are joined. Now let's use the rotate command. Select the element to be rotated and trigger the rotate command. Select the first point to rotate from, then select a second point or an angle to rotate your shape to and click on the canvas. You can also mirror shapes. Select the element to be mirrored, then trigger the mirror command. Notice you can either have both shapes on the canvas or delete the original shape after you mirror it. Select the first point to mirror from, then select the second point to mirror to onto the canvas. Now let's try the fillet command by filleting the corners of this rectangle. After selecting the rectangle and triggering the command, I can select between filleting one corner of this shape or all corners at once. Then enter the fillet radius manually or by adding a value. Moving to the chamfer command. Select the element to be chamfered, then trigger the command. Notice that you can select between regular and irregular chamfering mode at the top of the command bar. Select the two continuous paths to chamfer from, then select the distance on the canvas or by entering a value. After joining our paths, let's explode. Select the shape to be exploded into individual paths, then trigger the explode command. I'll use these lines to demonstrate the extend command. Start by selecting the element to extend to, then trigger the extend command. Now, select the paths to be extended. A preview will be shown in red. Now let's align one shape with another with the Align tool. Start by selecting the element to be aligned and trigger the Align command. You can switch between scaling your Align shape or not scaling it on the top of the command bar. Now, select the element's first source point, then select the element's first destination point. Select the element's second source point, then the element's second destination point. And that's it, your shapes are aligned. Lastly, let's review how to Boolean overlapping shapes. Start by selecting the Boolean command, then select the desired mode, join, intersect, exclude, or subtract. Select both elements and click done. And that's it, everyone. That's everything you have to know about Ryan's editing tools. Check out our YouTube channel for more useful, hands-on tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next Ryan tutorial.